Manka disease is X-linked recessive disorder, which means that this disorder affects male patients. Manka disease caused by impaired copper absorption. And the reason why copper absorption becomes impaired is genetic defect in Manka protein, or we call this protein ATP7A. What? And copper deficiency causes damage to connective tissue and manifest with brittle or kinky hair, growth and developmental delay, hypotonia, and also it causes increased risk of aneurysm. And to explain all these features, we have to know the pathway of copper in our body. So, when we consume some copper with diet, copper in comes into the small intestine where copper undergo reabsorption. This reabsorption is provided by a specific protein called ATP7A. Once copper is reabsorbed, albumin immediately binds to copper with formation of albumin-copper transporting complex. And in this form, albumin delivers copper to liver tissue. And liver tissue serves as a storage site of copper in our organism. But copper is the essential microelement not only for liver tissue, other tissues also require copper for their metabolism. So to deliver copper to peripheral tissues, liver packs copper into transporting protein called aposeruloplasmin. And this results in formation of ceruloplasmin. Ceruloplasmin is basically aposeruloplasmin fully packed with copper. And this packing of copper is provided by ATP7B protein, which is also called copper ATPase. Once ceruloplasmin is formed, this molecule leaves liver tissue, and through the bloodstream, ceruloplasmin delivers copper to peripheral tissues. Why tissues need copper? First of all, copper is a cofactor of lethal oxidase and lysyl oxidase is a crucial enzyme for collagen production. Also, copper is a cofactor of tyrosinase, which is a crucial enzyme in melanin production. Copper is an essential cofactor for cytochrome C oxidase, and we need cytochrome C oxidase to produce ATP in electron transport chain. And last but not least, Copper is a cofactor of superoxide dismutase, which is one of the major antioxidants in our organism. So we need copper for elimination of reactive oxygen species. But in Menke disease, mutation occurs, which disrupts the production of ATP7A transporting protein. And this creates a huge problem. Because if ATP7A is not working properly, we cannot absorb copper from the small intestine. With decrease in copper absorption, the concentration of copper in the blood decreases. With decrease in blood copper level, the income of copper to liver tissue decreases. And the lower is the concentration of copper in the liver tissue, the lower becomes the production of ceruloplasmin. And obviously, with decrease in ceruloplasmin production, the level of ceruloplasmin in the blood will decrease. Because ceruloplasmin is the major transporter of copper, with decrease in ceruloplasmin level, the delivery of copper to peripheral tissues will decrease, and this creates a huge problem. Without copper, lethal oxidase cannot work. As a result, collagen production decreases, and decrease in collagen production causes brittle kinky hair, increased risk of cerebral aneurysm, bone deformities, and loose skin. Also without copper, tyrosinase cannot work. As a result, melanin production decreases, which will cause skin depigmentation. Without copper, cytochrome C oxidase is not working. So energy production will decrease, and prolonged energy deficiency will cause growth and developmental delay, decrease in muscle tone, so-called hypotonia, and hypothermia. And also, without copper, superoxide dismutase cannot work, which means that we cannot eliminate free radicals. 
and accumulation of free radicals cause severe oxidative stress in tissues. And we have to know that in neural tissue, oxidative stress can cause neurodegeneration in gray matter of the brain, which will manifest as seizures. So that's, that's it then? No one else really knows anything? Okay. Um, what? There is a clinical case of a patient with Manka disease. As we see, it was 8 months old boy. Why boy? Because it's excellent recessive disorder, as hemophilia, which means that this disorder affects male patients. The symptoms were progressive hypotonia and growth and developmental delay, despite normal food intake. On examination, they discovered central and peripheral hypotonia, dry and lax skin, and also his hair was quite coarse and wiry. We can see this on this photo. And we know that these symptoms can be caused by copper deficiency. But we have to determine copper deficiency. So in his blood analysis, copper level was 7.1, which is low. And seroplasmin level was 120, which is also below normal. So now we can definitely say that he has copper deficiency. I think that's the shit, man. Also, the sample of his hair was taken. Well, what did he do that for? Don't know, sir. And light microscopy revealed a twisted and hyperpigmented shaft. Also, he had multiple bone deformities, so the diagnosis of Manka disease was made. And as treatment, Boy received subcutaneous injections of copper histidine. What do we learn, Palmer? I don't know, sir. I don't fucking know either. <laughs>